Hello, and yeah, everyone. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to make a very simple uh, dessert that I love to eat whenever I go to my local Thai grocery market. Um, this is like my grab and go dessert whenever I go there. Uh, so today, I'll be showing you guys how to make a steamed cassava and taro uh, coconut cake. This dessert is mostly made with just cassava, but today I'll be showing you guys how to make a cassava and taro coconut cake because I love the texture and the flavor of taro in this dessert. And this dessert is amazing. It tastes great. It's so simple, so easy to make. The only problem is it's a little time consuming. So what's perfect about this dessert is that it tastes better the next day. So this dessert is perfect to um, serve for potluck. You guys can make it a day ahead and then serve it the next day because um, it does taste better the next day when it's refrigerated. So yeah, I'll show you guys how to make it today. This dessert can be seen all over Southeast Asia, but be made different versions in different ways. Uh, but today I'll just be showing you guys how to make a steam version one with fresh grated coconut on top and it's gonna be very delicious and super simple you guys can definitely make this with just straight up cassava so yeah let's go ahead and make some dessert it's gonna be super delicious let's go okay so I have a bowl here and to this bowl I'm going to add in this is the grated taro root that I grated in my hand grater um, if you guys have a food processor that grates stuff feel free to use it too but I just use my hand grater to grate this up I'm going to go ahead and add this in there. This is about 16 ounces or a pound of grated taro root. Okay, and into this, I'm going to go ahead and add in my grated cassava. And the cassava I'm using today is just a frozen one. If you guys can find these in your Asian grocery store in the frozen section, go ahead and just buy this. You guys can definitely use fresh cassava, but I just find it easier to use the frozen one. And it's equally portioned out to be a pound as well. So I'm going to use equal portion of cassava to equal portions of taro root. And all I'm going to do is add this in there as well. All right, so now we can go ahead and add in some sugar. Some sugar here. I have about a cup and a fourth cup of sugar in here. You guys can add more, like close to two cups if you guys want it really sweet. But um, we don't really like this dessert to be too sweet, so we're just going to add in a cup and a fourth. And then we're also going to add in some salt to um, balance out the sweetness. So about uh, half a teaspoon of it. And then to that, we are going to go ahead and add in some coconut cream. So I have some coconut cream in here, and we're just going to go ahead and add those in there as well. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that we're going to add into here. I have some gloves on right now. I'm just going to go ahead and mix this with my hands. Mix this really well. All right, so this is pretty much it. So now we're going to go ahead and put this in a uh, round baking pan and we're going to go ahead and steam it. But yeah, this is basically what it looks like before cooking. All right, I'm gonna switch this over and I have here a pan here. This is a nine by three inch um, round pan. I've greased it with a little bit of oil, about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And we're going to go ahead and add in the uh, mix, and then we can go ahead and steam it. Let's go ahead and add that in there. Spread this out evenly. All right, so now we can go ahead and steam this up. All right, so I have my steamer here with some water on the bottom. I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to add in the mix here. This uh, round pan actually fits in my steamer so if you guys don't have a steamer like this, feel free to use other steamers that can fit your actual pan. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to stick this in there, close this up, and I'm going to let this steam for a good 30 minutes. Um, depending on the level of starch that's in here, it might take a little longer, a little less. So yeah, we'll come back after 30 minutes and then come check on it. And then that's pretty much about it. 
All right, so it's been about 30 minutes, and this is what it looks like. It's totally not translucent yet, and it's still really, really soft in the middle. Um, you see on the outside, you can see it has become a little bit transparent. That means it's cooking. It should become a nice and clear color. That means it's fully cooked. So here, we're gonna cook it for another probably 40 more minutes. It takes about like an hour and a half to actually fully cook this. So yeah, we're gonna cook this for another 30, 40 to 45 more minutes. Might be another hour, um, but yeah, we'll come back and check on it. Okay, so in the meantime, while the uh, cake is actually steaming, uh, we are going to go ahead and grate some fresh coconut. And in this recipe, this grated coconut is going to be used as a coating for the cassava at the end when it's nicely steamed and cut. But yeah, my dad helped me open up a coconut. These are really, really hard to open. These are the older coconuts. They're not the young coconuts. You can tell it's because of the thickness of the meat and it's really, really firm and a lot tougher than the young coconut. So we like using these as garnish and also to scrape it down and use as garnish because it has a nice pleasant texture. And if you guys don't want to do a whole coconut and cut it in half and do all that stuff and grate it, definitely go ahead and buy like the freshly grated coconut in the freezer section. They also have it next to the cassava, the frozen cassava as well. But today we're gonna use fresh coconut because um, for me it just tastes good. The juice, the coconut water, I took it out. Uh, you guys can drink it, you guys can freeze it and to make it into ice cubes, whatever you guys want. Here. I have a um, tool that I bought at our local Thai market. This is a coconut grater. If you guys look online, you guys might be able to find it, but I found this at my local Thai grocery store. So we're gonna use this to grate today. So yeah, what we're gonna do is take this and we're going to go ahead and scrape it down like that. And you get some nicely grated coconut like this. But yeah, just continue to grate this until you get most of the meat out. This will not work for younger coconut because the meat is so tender. So yeah, you can tell, makes grated coconut, pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna finish, continue using up these two here and then we'll put it in the bowl and set aside um, until we're ready to use it. Okay, so the coconut is finished being grated. This is what it looks like. So beautiful, fresh coconut, always the best, right? So to this, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in like a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And mix that really well. And then we're gonna let this sit aside um, until our cassava cake is cool enough to cut and be finished um, garnishing it up. So this has been cooking for about an hour and 40 minutes. Um, you can see the color has changed a little bit and it's still really soft in the middle, but what we have to do now is let it cool completely until it gets to room temperature before we can actually cut it. I know, you cook it for so long and now you have to wait another like, what, four or six hours for it to cool. If you guys want, stick this in the refrigerator so it can cool faster um, before we cut it and finish it off with the shredded coconut. Okay, so it's been about four hours since it's cooled um, and it has cooled. I'm gonna take an offset spatula and just go around the edges here and release it from the actual pan. Since this recipe has taro in it, it does take a little bit longer to actually, to actually set up versus if you were to do like just straight up cassava. It would probably take you about like 40 to 45 minutes to actually steam it. And I'm gonna take a knife and cut through the center here just so I can actually release it from the pan. I mean, if you guys have a silicone round uh, mold, definitely use that so it's easier to actually flip it out. So I'm gonna cut that half of this here and then take the other parts out like that. You can actually cut it. We got it out. <laughs> Take this and you can go in and cut it into bite-sized pieces here, depending on how you want to cut it. Really up to you. And then these edges here, you can go in and snack on it. Really up to you. But I'm gonna finish cutting all of these and we can finish coating it with the uh, shredded coconut that we shredded up earlier.
Okay, so I finished cutting up the cassava taro cake. And here is the shredded coconut that we um, did earlier. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and add in the cut up cake here. We'll do a little bit at a time. And all you want to do is basically just coat the cake in coconut. Sometimes it won't stick, but you can go ahead and use your hands and press it on if you want more coconut on there. And then we can go ahead and plate this up and it's pretty much ready. Yum. Ooh, don't go quick. Okay, so I'm gonna take it off the steamer. Oh, it's hot! 